Blessed day to all of you. Welcome to LMC Middle Devotion. My short sharing is on Walk before God and be blameless. These are the words from God to Abraham when he was 99 years old and God was about to fulfill his covenant with Abraham that he would be a father with many countless descendants. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1 to 2 When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am Almighty God, walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you, and will multiply you exceedingly. God wanted Abraham to walk before him and be blameless. In fact, righteous people walk with God, and God has blessed them and preserved them. For example, Enoch, who was the seventh generation of Adam, walked with God 300 years. He was walking in close fellowship with God. Then one day, he disappeared because God took him. Noah, the tenth generation of Adam, was a just man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God, and God preserved Noah and his family from the great flood. So what does it really mean to walk with God and be blameless? Let's look at the life of Abraham before this passage on how he, being the 20th generation of Adam, have been walking with God and lived a blameless life, just as his forefathers Enoch and Noah did. Firstly, Abraham believed in God. He believed that God was leading him to leave his country and to go to a place which he did not know. He believed in God's promises and provision, that he refused to claim any goods when he had rescued the king of Sodom from captivity. And Abraham believed in God that he would have many descendants, even though he did not have one at the time, and God accounted it to him for righteousness. Secondly, Abraham obeyed God. He obeyed God by taking actions to leave his homeland to a place which he believed God was leading. Thirdly, Abraham believed God. He often built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. He also gave tithe to the priest of God in remembrance of God, and God gave him the victory over the enemies. Lastly, Abraham always did what was right with God. He did not take advantage of people. He chose to live in peace with his nephew Lot and let him decide which land to take. He had compassion on Lot who was taken as captive and went all out to rescue him and his family. Abraham also cared for his people who were with him, who worked alongside with him. So let's walk before God and be blameless, just as Enoch, Noah and Abraham. May we always believe in Jesus that He is our Lord and Saviour. Obey His words which are written in the Bible. Always remember Him not only in times of trouble, but in every moment of our life. And to offer Him thanksgiving and praise in all situations. And always do what is right with God by not taking advantage of others, by living in peace with everyone, and to show compassion and care for the people around us. Just like how God has made His covenant with Abraham and blessed him, God will do the same for us because we are His children through our Lord Jesus Christ.